Hey guys, it's X and Shadow, and I'm here with a little bit of a treat for you guys. As you know, I posted a video in December on the with a review of Generations 1 through 4 in Pokemon. Yeah, it's actually one of my more popular videos, and it's discussed a gigantic discussion in the comments box. Um, one of my most commented videos, I think my most commented video, actually. And so I figured that I should discuss some of this because I've had uh, an ongoing argument with a YouTube user named Brawl08 and basically this is how it went down. Um, as you know I liked, I said that Gen 2 was my favorite and Gen 4 was my least favorite and he posted this comment, Gen 2 is the best, Gen 4 is the worst. Fuck this bullshit, your opinion is invalid for a crap load of reasons already. Way to start off with a good impression. Yeah, and so I replied justly. And how? I've admitted myself that Gen 2 is the best purely for nostalgia reasons, and that Gen 3 has the best battle system. I also gave a ver perfectly valid excuse for my opinions on Gen 4. The game world sucks, the Pokemon suck, and I feel that the new battle system is too unbalanced. If anything, your opinion should be the one that should be invalid because you hasn't said anything to back it up. And that's true. He had like a, a crap ton more characters to at least give some background points but whatever you know and he says in reply to that Gen 2 being purely for nostalgia reasons ends it right there that's just as bullshit as it gets you wouldn't end up disregarding slash making light of all of Gen 2's faults obviously your thoughts on Gen 4 show this and if you truly think Gen 2 has better gameplay slash Pokemon slash region I could easily back myself up, but if I were to do, I would end up making a whole essay here on why Gen 2 is the shit and cancer of the franchise. Those are strong words here. Shit and cancer? Hell no. Uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal established a crap ton of things for the Pokemon series. Established a whole lot for the Pokemon series. For video games and better. And they did this on the original Game Boy Color, which is something I'll probably bring up multiple times. This is an 8-bit system, and it did a whole lot more... Then I think Pokemon Gold is one of the most content stuffed cartridges on the entire system. And Pokemon Gold did way more with the Game Boy cartridge than Pokemon Diamond did with the DS cartridge. Proportionally. <sighs> but whatever. Um, so I call him out on this. I said that I liked Gen 2 the best. I fully admitted that I felt Gen 3 had the best battle system out of all the games, which is really what is important. And it is. I said that. I am forced to complete... Am I forced... Uh, sorry, I fully admit Gen 2's faults, but I still like the game because I remember having fun with it as a kid. Am I forced to completely forget that? No, I shouldn't have to. I know it's not the best game, it's just my favorite. There's a big difference. And there is. Gen 2 is not the best. The battle system is a little bit underdeveloped, but for the time, it was awesome. And you gotta keep things in perspective. How well is the game aged is more of how you should ask for this older game as opposed to how good is it compared. The game has aged remarkably really well, especially for it being such an old game. My little brothers play Gen 2 and they enjoyed it, and they're 8 and 9, and they play Gen 3 and 4 first, and they still enjoy Gen 1 and 2 a whole lot more than Gen 3 and 4, in fact. But, whatever. Oh, so I also say, oh, let's see that essay there. I'd love for you to see how the most evolutionary series is, as you put it, an entry in the series is, as you put it, shouldn't be. And he says that, and so he starts his little rampage. To start everything bad about Gen 2. Gen 2 gave us a ton of garbage that people love eating up. Day night, for example. It was a limiter. and prevented people from catching Pokemon at any time of the day like we were able to in Gen 1. There's nothing good about that and you're fooling yourself if you think there is. Now, let's put it in a different way. Does it limit the game or does it expand it? Um, Think about it. In 1999, when this game was released, the concept of a day, the concept of having stuff happen at different parts of the day, has really only been examined in, I think, Zelda or Karina of Time. Uh, so, and having it be gone by the actual hours of the day has never been done before. So, this is an innovative new feature that people really like, because it adds a sort of realism and involvement in the game. It shouldn't always be sunny outside, that doesn't make sense. It shouldn't always be nighttime, it doesn't make sense. Pokemon that are owls and bats shouldn't be outside in broad daylight. Pokemon that are squirrels and kittens shouldn't be outside in broad night. It's a limiter, as you put it, but... it Yes, it does limit what Pokemon you can get at which time, but it's also a lot more realistic, and it's probably the only realistic thing that Pokemon's ever had. It's not a big deal e 
either, especially in the new games where you can just manipulate the clock to wherever you want it so that stuff can happen. Having something go by the days of the week and by the time of the day is something new and something that really isn't done that much with with games. The only other game that does stuff with the days of the week and time of the day is Animal Crossing. But anyway, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. You're it's not as big of a problem as you make it out to be, if you even consider it a problem. But let's move on. The regions. The article in the OP ans- handles this. Well, too bad you didn't even give me a link to that, jackass. Johto was small and cramped, relying on a butchered Kanto like a fucking parasite. Kanto was stripped of the Lavender Tower, Power Plant, Safari Zone, Seafoam Islands, Viridian Forest, most of Mount Moon, and Cerulean Cave. Most of the routes were shorter than RBY Kanto, or for Johto at least. I'm almost positive that GSC's Kanto route suffered as well. Think about it, though. This is a Game Boy Color cartridge. or No, not even a Game Boy Color cartridge. That's only Crystal. This is a Game Boy, like, black and white Game Boy cartridge. The fact that it's able to stuff two whole regions in there is impressive as it is. Uh, is Johto smaller than Kanto? I don't really think so. Other than the dungeons... It's relatively the same, and honestly, the dungeons are tedious to go through. So, yeah, complaining about all the dungeons being lost is just ridiculous, because I hated going through nearly every single dungeon in the first game. Wild Zubats appearing out of nowhere, stupid strength puzzles to go through, getting rid of them was a plus. Having less dungeons means having more fun actually playing the game, as opposed to Wild Zubat appeared, run away, Wild Zubat appeared, run away. And honestly, I say this later, but the the maps are about the same size. <sighs> but anyway, yeah. And having two regions is just such a revolutionary appear- thing for the series. And it was done this early, and it's never been attempted again. Pokemon Diamond could fit. Pokemon Diamond did not use a lot of memory space, okay? The graphics weren't that sophisticated. Sure, the game was big, but all the other games were big. They had plenty more space to put into that card or into that game. They could have brought back Cohen. They could have brought back Kanto or Johto, but they didn't. This is the only time where there's any sort of connectivity to the previous game, which is a good thing. They're trying to keep things consistent as opposed to starting anew every single time. <sighs> but moving on, because I cover that later with one of my own posts. The Pokemon. Most were pretty lame. Ledian, Saflora, Smoochum, Magby, Elekid, Politoed, Corsola, Blossom, eh, Tokitik. Uh, and so on. It doesn't help that there are Johto Pokemon that cannot be found in Johto. Yeah, that's right. Johto Pokemon that are Kanto exclusive. What the hell, Game Freak? This is the only time he goes all caps for a relatively small detail. Oh no, you can't get Houndoom or Murkrow in Johto. Boo hoo, I'm gonna go cry to mommy. That's not a big deal. So what? There are Kanto Pokemon that can be found in Johto. Ooh, ooh, that's not a problem. That's just a stupid complaint. It's two Pokemon, only one of them is any popular, and honestly, if you got it in the beginning of the game, it'd be kind of overpowered seeing as Houndoom, but whatever. Um, Pokemon, most were pretty lame. I'll talk about this later, but that's a matter of opinion, sure. Um, And I love how a lot of the Pokemon that you bring up are evolutions, so they aren't really new Pokemon, just advances of the first game, which don't really count. So all you have left is Ledifan, some flora and uh, Corsola. And yes, those are lame Pokemon, but you've also got Typhlosion, Feraligator, Espeon, Umbreon. Wait, right, those don't count. Fuck it. You've <laughs> you've got Houndoom. I like Houndoom. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this poster I have and see what other awesome Pokemon came from this game. Um Noctowl, I have a soft spot for Noctowl. Um Ariados. Ariados' design is pretty cool. Lantern, Lantern's a very useful Pokemon. Um, Zatu, Zatu's original, ish. Uh, Ampharos, one of the most popular electric types, actually. Uh, Sudowedo, it's interesting, I guess. Um, Apom, Apom kind of sucks. I have to, <laughs> I have to admit. Um, Yanma, I've always liked Yanma. I don't see why people don't. Uh, Slugma, Slugma can suck my balls, actually. Um, uh, Mantine, Mantine's pretty awesome. Um, I said Houndoom. Kingdra. Kingdra is one of the best Pokemon that I've been able to use. Very creative. Um, Donphan. Donphan's awesome. So is Porygon Z. Um, I like Stantler and Smeargle, but I can understand why you wouldn't. And you've also got Tyrogue and Hitmontop. I love those guys. Uh, Milk Tank. Did I got owned by um, the Milk Tank in the third gym. I'm sure everybody did. Milk Tank is pretty awesome. And then you've got the legendaries, which are pretty cool. Um, oh, and Tyranitar. Tyranitar is pretty awesome. 
So yeah, um, there are plenty of awesome Pokemon in Gen 2. The problem is, is that Gen 2 probably has the least amount of Pokemon from it, so there's less of a choice to have it. It's got the same proportionally amount of hits and misses as the other games. It's just the problem is that there's less of them, so the amount of um, lame Pokemon is proportionally hot, is seems higher. Okay, but moving 